Hi, this is Dave, and I'm back with another Stamp Slave video. This is the second in the series of two about uh, fixing uh, punches. And again, I'll just tell you the same things here and, uh, about the caveats. Probably don't want to do this if you're not pretty comfortable using tools. Uh, it can be dangerous, you know, if you're using a sharp screwdriver like this and you're trying to pry something might jam it into your hand, so be very, very careful if you're going to try this. Uh, the other thing is that Stampin' Up! has not and probably would not uh, endorse this procedure. Um, you can save yourself a lot of time and not have to return things, but if you make a mess of it, of course, you may not be able to get Stampin' Up! at that point to, uh, to replace your punch if you've taken it apart. But I've had good luck with it. If you're good with tools, you can probably do this no problem. All right. This is a new uh, style of punch, uh, quite different than the first video that I did, which was for the old style. Okay, so if you have this type that you need to fix, take a look at the first video um, on the punches. And in this case, I'll show you how to do this one now. This is a hinge situation again. Okay, um, the hinge is back here, and we need to get this this top off so that we can see what's in there and figure out how to fix it. Just as in the other one, uh, when I take something apart like this, I want to look at it carefully first and see how it goes together, see how it comes apart so that I can make sure I get it back together the right way. So as I look at it, I see these two little caps here are what's uh, holding the pin in to that hinge. So I've got to get that cap off. Now, I want to be very careful taking these out because if you lose them, uh, the pin will not stay in anymore. So these, when you take them out, be careful because you can fire it across the room and it can be really, really hard to find. So I'm going to use the edge of my letter opener here and very carefully lift up on that. It takes a little bit of time sometimes. Let me do that and I will turn the video back on just save a little time here. Okay, I'm back. Uh, got it out, but even after all that, uh, all the stuff I was talking about there, I did fire it across the room. So be really careful that you don't lose these little things. Okay, I'm going to set that where I won't uh, knock it off. And now I want to get this other one out, and the easiest way to do that is going to be to just push it through uh, from this end. If you look in there, you can see the little uh, uh, post that's in there that holds the hinge together. I'm going to use this screwdriver. Uh, which has a Phillips end, rounded end, and so the diameter of this is going to be about the same diameter of this, of the uh, the pin that's in there. <clears throat> so you need something like that. I'm going to put my hand over here to catch that when it comes out, and I'm going to push just a little bit. It doesn't need very much. There you go. And now you can see I kept that cap there. Set that aside. And here's our pin. I'm going to push it the rest of the way through. <coughs> and pull the pin out, okay, set that aside. Now that will allow me to take off the top. So we'll set that over here. Now, again, I want to be looking at everything uh, as I'm taking it apart so that I'm, I'm sure I know how it goes back together. And I don't know if you can see it clearly on the video. Let me bring this up here. Note the, uh, the arrow there. And the arrow is pointing back towards the hinge side. So we want to make sure we get it back in that direction because uh, it will make a difference. Um, I'm going to gently take this off. Okay, when you, when you pull these off, be really careful not to uh, get it cocked one way or the other. Try to pull straight up and be very gentle about it because this is your cutting edge right here and you, you don't want to be banging that up. So as you take it apart, be really careful with those. Uh, looking here, this is where the this is the area that the cutting edge slides against. This is you know kind of like the scissors, the two blades come together. That's this one. So you want to make sure that that's not all dinged up. Okay, looks okay to me. I'm just feeling that to see if if there's anything there that would give me an indication of why it was sticking or whatever the problem was. As I do that, note here these little posts that you can see. Okay, those are where your springs go. So when you put this back together, you want to make sure that you get these springs to seat properly over those posts. Okay. Now we can look at this, just kind of run your finger around gently, don't cut yourself. 
uh, make sure there aren't any burrs or anything there. If there was a burr there, I might uh, take some emery cloth or something, very fine grade uh, emery cloth, and just uh, uh, sand that down a little bit. I'm not going to mess with this side of the blade. I don't want to be dulling anything. Um, and if, if, let's say, if you have to be working over here and that spring gets in your way, you can usually get the springs off like so. Just be careful again, you don't lose them. Okay, when you go to put it back together, make sure that it seats properly, like so. Okay, if, uh, if it's sticking, like I said in the other video, I've heard that you can use uh, wax paper. And what you would do without taking it apart, they say. Uh, what you would do is, with everything back together, you would slide your wax paper in and punch a bunch of times on that. The theory again being that it would coat the the blade with with wax and make it easier. I frankly have not had much luck with getting that to work, so I tend to use my just a little bit of vegetable oil, in this case canola oil, uh, and all I do is get a little tiny bit in the cap and put it on my finger like so because I want a very thin uh, film of it, very very thin film and then I'll even take a Kleenex and go through and make sure that there isn't any excess on there. Okay. And assuming I found what I needed to, now I'm going to try to put it back together. Okay. So you have to be careful sometimes that if the springs fall off and you can't get them to stay on that, then go ahead and put them back on here first. Okay. Just stand them up there. Notice I've got my arrow here. So I'm going to make sure the arrow goes toward the spring end, I'm sorry, toward the hinge end. Okay, and I'm going to set that back in there carefully. Whoops, I knocked off my spring, so let me set this back in there. Okay, as I put this back in, I want to do it carefully so that I, you know, it's probably easier if I can get those to stay on here long enough to get it on there. There they go. All right, I don't want to put this on cockeyed or anything. I want to get it down there as straight as I can. So I'm just going to very gently slide that back in, okay? And then I'm going to test it by hand. Again, being careful to push down straight. I don't want to push down one side or the other. Okay, that slides in there very nicely. So that's working fine. Now I'm going to put this back together. Again, the, the hinge, okay? Put the holes in the right spot. Put the hinge on there. All it does is sit down on there. Come on, get in there like so. You have to make sure you get this little bar inside. That's what goes in here. Okay, you see these notches? That bar has to fit in there. So I'm going to put the bar in there like so and then make sure that my uh, the holes match up. When I look down there you should be able to see the holes inside. And I'm actually going to test this by holding holding the hinge end with my thumb here and then I'm going to try it a couple of times and it goes very smoothly okay so I know I can put it back together now I'm going to take the pin and put it back through here like so and when you get to the end sometimes it'll, it'll you'll hit uh, an obstruction which is the other side so what you want to do is just clamp down on this with your your finger or your thumb I should say and give it another push and you should be able to get it in there just fine Okay, so now it's in there. Test it a couple of times. Okay, and I'm going to push this down a little bit. Actually, what I'll do is I'll put the uh, cap back on this side first, so that I know it's going to only go so far. Okay, push that back in, get it flush there. Now I can push my pin down a little bit to seat it. Okay, again, if it doesn't go easily, make sure to hold the other end down. There we go. Okay, so sometimes you have to hold this end to be able to push that pin through. You shouldn't have to force it. It doesn't take much effort at all. So if you're having to push really hard, you're doing something wrong. Okay, and then I've got my last cap. Get that in there, push it in flush. Test it a few times. Okay, work, everything's working fine. And again, take, uh, take some scrap uh, cardstock or something and just punch a few times to Make sure that there's no more oil left on there that's going to come off on your cards and so forth. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, thanks for watching. See you later.